So I uh, I was out today when the first such podcast was happening. Uh, so I missed the I missed the podcast. So yeah, they were talking about Rocket League Mount Rushmore. Who who's on Mount Rushmore for Rocket League? That's that's the conversation. Who was in the podcast today? I think it was James Bot and Jarby, wasn't it? Oh, and CJ CJ as well. Really? Okay. So who did everybody have? So the question on Reddit is who's on RLCS Mount Rushmore? Today on First Touch, they had a debate about which four players would be the Mount Rushmore, well, the RLCS Mount Rushmore, so it's specifically RLCS, apparently, although um, I've heard other people saying just Rocket League Mount Rushmore. I've heard some people say RLCS, some people say Rocket League. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, so, yeah, the, uh, it's apparently the most consistent names they talked about were Kronovi, Turbo, Kadop, Garrett, Justin. There's a lot of controversy over putting Squishy on there as well. Um, so that's the the topic. Um, then I tweeted, haven't had a chance to watch back the FT VOD because I've not. Um, but did Cuxer not come up in the Mount Rushmore discussion? Because I didn't really know exactly what Mount Rushmore was, but my understanding, I was like, surely Cuxer needs to be in the conversation, if not um, 100% on there. Um, Roldis said Crow, Justin, Garrett, and Kidop. Okay. Yeah, apparently Cuxer didn't come up in the discussions. That's why that was my first tweet about this. I was like, surely Cuxer would be one of the players discussed here. Um, so yeah, I just listed a bunch of things about Cuxer. He's the number one player for the first two years of competitive RL. These are his RLCS achievements. Uh, well, this is LAN achievements. Uh, first place RLCS Season 2, DreamHack Summer, WSOE. Second place RLCS Season 1. And third place, Dream, uh, DreamHack Valencia and Gnarly 2. So very good LAN. Uh, history and his longevity had him even qualifying for regionals this season so he's ridiculous longevity to be one of the first players to transition to Rocket League from SARP and be one of the GOATs from the get-go like you know week one week two of, of Rocket League Cux is one of the best players <laughs> like literally the first weeks that it, that it launched and he's still making regionals in the winter split um, and I think he probably would have still made regionals in the spring split as well if his team that he qualified with in the winter didn't make the mistake of benching him I don't know why they benched him um, so that's that was my first take here. Um, but before we read any replies, I want to highlight there was a couple of comments on the. Um, well, let's just go through a couple of comments on Reddit, then we'll go back to Twitter here. Uh, apparently, James Bot said that Gibbs belongs on the list, which a lot of people apparently thought was a joke. Um, but when you look into the uh, credentials for Mount Rushmore. It isn't a complete joke at all. Uh, you know, it, reply top reply here says, outside of jokes, he still has influence now and is relevant on the back end of things. Yeah, he's back end and front end as well. You know, uh, we've got Gibbs casting or you've got analysis Gibbs on the front end and back end Gibbs like doing formats and stuff. So he's, he's you know, we've got both ends of Gibbs, which is good. Um, and he should, he has a historical significance outside of being a player because he was a player on the best team in NA way back at the start as well. Um, so, yeah, there, there's there's something about Gibbs. Stacks as well thinks Gibbs is in there. Numerous numerous contributions. Uh, he also thinks Garrett, Kadop, Turbo, uh, which is, th th these are three very common names. Um, but this is an interesting comment. Let's take a look at this one from Hamo Hater. Uh, Thanks, by the way, to Swiftly Legal for the 70-month tier one. That is absurd. I appreciate that. Uh, that's that's insane. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting comment. So, Mountain Rushmore's four presidents were chosen for this reason. Four presidents... Uh, represent the nations as the US birth, growth, development, and preservation. I've heard um yeah, I've heard heard these four words coming up again a lot. Birth, growth, development, preservation. Uh that's what Mount Rushmore represented or represents. Um so in that uh context, if if we're all if we're gonna apply these words to the Rocket League version of Mount, Mount Rushmore, then it drastically changes from what a lot of people have been saying. Um, so now, with that in mind, let's go back to Twitter. And I'll show you a reply from T-Bates, because I asked, uh, well, I just asked, did Cuxer not come up in the conversation? T-Bates replied uh, that he mentioned him, but he ain't, he ain't cracked mine. So T-Bates basically saying that, yeah, Cux is in the conversation, but he didn't get into, into T-Bates top four. I asked him, okay, who did you have? And T-Bates uh, defined his uh, criteria for Mount Rushmore, which are, actually different criteria than the criteria highlighted on reddit here and actually the criteria that uh closely re resemble why mount rushmore actually exists in real life um tbit says he defines it as greatness well he's looking at it as as goats basically um it's he's he's actually doing a goat conversation um 
in this Mount Rushmore discussion. So being the best in your team is a big thing for him. Uh, you've got to be a winner and consistent and also influence in the game in terms of impact uh, off the field as well as on the field mechanics moments meta. Uh, so he went with KDOP, Justin, Garrett, and Squishy for that reason. Um, which, you know, it, it, well, it, given his criteria, I don't think is accurate. Uh, as uh, as I'll show you in a second, we did we did go back and forth on this. I don't think uh, that even in the even in the criteria that Tibet specified, I don't agree that these would be the four uh, players. Um, but uh, I I don't think this criteria is uh, accurate to well at least what I've learned about Mount Rushmore today. Cause like I said earlier, I didn't really know much about Mount, Mount Rushmore until this whole discussion came up. But this comment at Reddit summarizes it quite well. Mount Rushmore's four presidents were chosen because uh, they represent the nation's birth, growth, development, and preservation. Now, if you're talking about a video game and talking about an esport, do all these things apply? I think so. I think that's the first question we need to talk about is, should we use the same, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, qualities to decide who's on the Rock League Mount Rushmore or the RLCS Mount Rushmore, RL Esports Mount Rushmore, whatever you want to call it? Or should we be changing these four uh, qualities to more Rocket League RLCS specific terms? What do you guys think? Type one if you think we should be just sticking to what Mount Rushmore actually is in real life, the, the criteria that determine who's on there. Type two if you think we should be changing it into more of a GOAT conversation, because uh, that's what a lot of people are doing. Uh, personally, I think, I, yeah, I could Google it, but it actually does say this. I, I can show you guys if you want, because I did Google it earlier to see. What does it represent? Yeah, maybe I should Google that instead. I can't remember why I Googled earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Good man. Yeah, represent. So this is this, this must have been why I Googled earlier. Purpose of the memorial is to uh, communicate the founding, which is another word for birth, uh, expansion, which is another word for um, growth, uh, preservation, and unification. So I guess unification uh, is another word for development. Um, so yeah, kind of... This is the one that's different here. I'm not sure which one we should be using. Um, unification does, yeah, very much point to Turbo, doesn't it? Because he went from EU to NA, so he would win that one <laughs> off the top of my, off the top of my head. Um, what do they represent? Yeah, I'm trying to. Why were they chosen? Um, yeah, is this accurate? Basically, because I'm learning about this today. So, is this accurate? Is this Reddit comment that I've seen? many times i've seen this um many times mentioned is this accurate birth growth development preservation or is are, are there different words that we should be using here because we have to before you can talk about cause this is the problem everybody's throwing around their lists and no one's actually a, like specified what are we talking about here are we talking about a goat conversation or are we talking about this birth growth development preservation so this is this is perfect uh, I, yeah, this is the only bit I've, um, I'm reading right now. I'm not looking at everything else. This is, the rest of it is his opinion, but this is, I think, fact uh, based on what uh, you guys are saying. So, yeah, founding, aka birth. Then you've got growth, um, aka expansion. Preservation is on there twice. Yeah, development, uh, unification, you know, kind of kind of same idea. So, you know, expanding, gro gr uh, growth, growth, uh, and then unification development. That's like, you know, the changing of idea, ideal, ideology, I guess. So you're looking at uh, what uh, what helped Rocket League in the very, very start and the, the initial growth and then, you know, any big, uh, you know, changes and, um, uh, yeah, what, what helped it be preserved. So, you know, with that in mind, because I think that's uh, enough uh, we'll we'll come back to T-Bits later. Uh, I think that's enough of an intro. Well, that was all I was taking into account when I then tweeted later that I just learned what Mount Rushmore is today, and I can confidently say the RL version is Crow, Cox, Garrity, and Kadop. And the reason I went with those four is because based on birth, growth, development, and per uh, preservation, you've got Cronovi, you know, clear... You know, I, I think they're all relevant in all four of those categories, but Cronovi is uh, the clear, uh, you know, birth of Rocket League choice very very clear and then when you talk about um the growth of the game uh i think you have to go with cuxer i think it's clear cuxer uh really the guy that everybody was copying 
at the start and still copy to this day. He's, you know, popularized the Batmobile for goodness sake, um, single-handedly pretty much. Well, unless you, you know, count Fairy Peak, who is kind of inspired by Cuxer to use a Batmobile in the first place. Oh yeah, you can only see half the screen. It's a different screen region again. My bad. Yeah, so I thought Cronovi was the clear example of the birth of Rock League. Cux was a clear example um, of the... Where did I reply it in a comment here? Yeah, the development of Rock League. Sorry, that's the word I'm looking for. Because um, he really like changed... The, he was playing his own game, changed the game, I think, more than anyone else. Um, and then Garrett is, the I think, the clearest example of the uh, preservation of Rock League. When you think of who's been there, just consistent. Um from the start, both in the game and uh, outside of the game, it's Garrett. And then in terms of the growth of the game, I think you have to give it to KDOT because he's the biggest content creator in pro Rocket League. Uh, pulls numbers on Twitch and no one else is pulling. Um, and without him, I can't see the French community being uh, as big as it is. I think KDOT's you know, contribution to, uh, well, obviously winning three worlds and uh, multiple other uh, crazy achievements as well as um, you know contribution to the French community I think it's undeniable you've got to have them in there if you're not putting at least one French person uh, in your Rocket League Mount, Mount Rushmore then what are you doing I mean the French community is ridiculous and KDOP is I think the head of that so he's got to be in there I think he has to be I said honorable mentions Rizzo Devo Turbo Fairy because uh, Rizzo although Cronovi is like the the birth of RLCS and Rocket League in the game, I don't think anybody has like been around since the very start the way Rizzo has uh, out of the game as well as in the game. And in the same way that KDOP brought a lot to the game through like the French community, I think Rizzo probably did more for the English community, English speaking community than anyone else, like collaborating with um, the F, F2, F, I almost said F, F3, the F2 guys early on. So I think Rizzo, I mentioned him as well because I hadn't seen anyone talk about Rizzo in this context at all so I was like right I've got to give him an honorable mention because nobody else has yeah Devo similar reason that Cux really like revolutionized the way the game is played I think a lot more than anyone else and if you're wondering why uh you know I put players like Cux and Devo as the main you know players who influence the game is because in my opinion I've said this many times the big changes that were made to the early seasons and the even the pre-seasons uh pre pre-season one those are the, the most influential changes in Rocket League history, uh, not uh, the ones that come much later when there's actually lots of different players pushing the envelope. Back then, Coxer, like single-handedly broke down so many barriers in terms of what was possible. Then Devo, the same thing, single-handedly broke down so many barriers and really blew everybody's minds in terms of what was possible in a way that I think people don't remember anymore because of recency bias. They just remember things like the Justin goal the squishy ceiling shot but you know these moments that are very memorable are actually just one-offs Devo and Cox every time they played were blowing people's minds and they were just on a different level that's why I think that they're the two clear examples of you know the the uh, development of the game developing the game uh, Marky Duda yeah Marky's in uh, in there as well um, but I think his uh, you know lack of longevity it gives him less of a shout to the other criteria um, and yeah, Fairy as well. You know, I mentioned earlier, you got to have French players in there. Gate up number one, Fairy's number two. And then if you think um, preservation, Garrett, number one. I think Turbo's right behind him in that category. So that's why I've got these honorable mentions. Um, but a lot of other people are picking uh, players like Justin, uh, Squishy, JNAPS, Scrub, um, because they're very popular players and they're all insane but you know this isn't just about who's who's like popular and who's got the most wins this isn't a goat conversation this isn't a popularity contest i feel like it's uh you know i'm trying to fit i'm trying to think of what actually fits these categories uh the most and develop you know development and birth you're only looking at the first maybe two three seasons of rlcs and everything that happened before that because the, the things that happened in those seasons and preseason were so much more influential in terms of the development of the game and the birth of the game, obviously, than anything that happened after that. And then in terms of growth, I think, yep, yeah, French community, clear winner there. And uh, preservation, I think Garrett and Turbo are clear. Um, but yeah, I'll summarize as well, because uh, like I mentioned, it wouldn't be fair for me to say uh, that I don't think 
that uh, T Bates list fits his own criteria without letting you guys decide for yourselves. So I will summarize what that discussion led to. Um, T Bates listed his own criteria, which is a different criteria from uh, the one that I'm using because I'm trying to use the real life Mount Rushmore criteria. He's using more of a goat kind of uh, criteria. But I think even if you're talking goat, uh, list go like who's the four goats of Rocket League? I don't think it's those four. Um, so he said first of all, but you've got to be best in your team. I say Cux is the best player in the world for two years. Uh, you've got to be. He said also influence the game in terms of impact on and off the field. I think early seasons are way more influential. So Cux wins there as well. Um, and then yeah, you've got to win, be a winner. Cux won three lines, Justin won two. I just wanted to pick one example to see where this would go. Um, T-Bit says that Cox being the best player in the world 2016 and 17 pills in comparison to Justin being the best player in the world for 2018 till 2021 and even arguably now when he's on. Uh, plus uh, Justin's writing his legacy adding more accolades Cox isn't. Um, so at the end here I say well the adding accolades doesn't matter that's not happening yet that's speculation but in answer to the previous thing Justin was never unanimously, uh, unanimously best in the world like Cox was. Cox separated himself in competition he looked like he's playing a completely different game. So that might be the first thing I wanted you guys... Oh, I, this is the first thing I wanted your guys' opinion on. Do you guys agree with this? Do you think that Cuxer was, you know, clear of everybody else in a bigger way than Justin ever was? Because um, recency bias might cause people not to agree with me there. I think Cux was... He was clear. He was the best player for like two years. Like Rocket League started, and for two years, Cux was the best. I think until Devo came along, I don't think anybody passed him. Maybe for like small windows, Marky Duda and Kronovi were close. Um, but until Devo came along, I don't think anybody took that mantle away from Cux, personally. Years, literally years. Whereas, uh, yeah, Justin. Season 5, he might be the best, but that's a small margin. They didn't even win uh, the Worlds that year, so uh, he, he, he might have been Worlds MVP, but, you know, yeah, it, it wasn't clear. It definitely wasn't clear. I think, I think Justin was probably the best player in the world Season 5, but it wasn't as clear. And then Season 6, I don't think Justin was the best player in the world. Um, I don't think he was the best player in the world Season 7. I think Season 8, uh, when they won Worlds, yep, yeah, I, I can say Justin was the best. But I don't think he was, for that entire time frame, best in the world. No way. Uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, T-Bates thinks that Justin was unanimously the best player in the world. Justin was unanimously the best for years, apparently. So I'm calling him out. I'm saying, T-Bates, you're out of your mind. Justin's never been unanimously the best for two years. Uh, but he says, yeah, season six, seven, and eight. Justin was unanimously the best. I disagree. I think it's uh, during those... During that window, gimmick, squishy, torment, kid up, scrub, fairy, astral, shaw set, Garrett, and Sipical all had moments where they rivaled or surpassed Justin. I think the clearest example of somebody surpassing Justin in season six, seven, and eight was shaw set. When he single handedly popularized the Fennec by 1v3 in Dreamhack Valencia and bringing an end to the online reign of kid up in season eight. Um, I think. That's not a three-year period. That's a one-and-a-half-year period. Season six, seven, and eight is a one-and-a-half-year period. Seasons used to be half a year. It's not three years. It's one-and-a-half. So I asked for two years. T-Bates gave me one-and-a-half, and the one-and-a-half ain't valid. I'm sorry, Bates. I don't think it is. But yeah, Chelset is the clearest example, uh, which I did highlight. I think Chelset, best player in the world by a clear mile. Um, Bates thinks he wasn't because he didn't win Worlds. I think Valencia was the most stacked line of all time when it happened. Chelset 1v3'd it. And, you know, by that same logic, Justin can't be the best in Season 6-7 because he didn't win those either. Um, but, yeah. Do you, what do you guys think? This is, I, I just want to, for the record, really enjoy uh, debating with, uh, with uh, T-Bates. It's really interesting because we always have very differing opinions. And that's interesting because if, if you agree on everything, it's kind of boring. Um, I think it's dead content-wise and it's also just dead from... Uh, interest perspective for me as well so I, I actually really enjoy that we disagree but yeah I think um, I think it's obvious that there are times during every season that Justin has been um, in where he's been you know eclipsed or um, at least rivaled maybe not eclipsed in every season but he's definitely been rivaled in every season 
in a bigger way than the two years that Cuxer dominated. Um, now, obviously, these days, the events are harder to win. Um, I don't weigh, in terms of a GOAT discussion, like greatest of all time, I don't weigh these, uh, you know, past tense events, so these, you know, early season events um, as much as current events. But we're not really talking about GOAT when it comes to Mount Rushmore, in my opinion. I think we're talking about something different um, based on what I've been reading. So, yeah, I think GOAT is different from Rushmore. And my Rushmore, I'm keeping it the same. I think Kronovi, clear for the birth of Rocket League. Cucks are clear for the development. Kate up clear for the growth. And Garrett is clear for the perse- uh, perse- what do you call it? Uh, preservation, not perseverance. Preservation. But perseverance as well. That's why I picked those four. My honorable mentions were a mix of people I didn't think were being talked to enough about and people who are definitely next in line for multiple categories.